using SketchUp 3D to enhance your Vigiline camera system designs. So the first thing we do is we open up SketchUp and then we import the uh, image of the uh, workspace that we're going to work in. In this case it's a, um, a, a typical warehouse. Uh, found this diagram on the internet and then I scaled it uh, to represent the actual dimensions of what this facility might look like. And I'm just checking a few of the uh, scalings here. So that's about uh, you know, a 32 inch door across uh, and it was like 106 uh, feet from end to end. One of the first place we're going to put cameras probably is right there at the uh, main entrance foyer area. So let's take a look there. Um, I'm going to use the uh, measurement tool and overlay that and I'm going to find out that uh, from front to back there from the back wall where I'll probably put the camera to the uh, front door is about 10 foot. Next we go to the Vigilon system design tool, uh, add a scene, I'm going to add a camera and the first thing we do is give it a name and in this case we'll give it a, a name of a front entryway. I'm going to uncheck that box so I can see all the different camera selections available to me. And I think what I'm going to use here is the uh, 1 megapixel um, HD dome. So it's the 1 megapixel HD dome with the 3 to 9 millimeter uh, lens. Quantity 1. Uh, we're going to mount it at about 8 foot up because typically the ceilings uh, is about 8 foot, 8 foot high. We're we'll mounted probably drop ceiling, from the drop ceiling there. Um, and it's about 10 foot from the uh, location we're looking at to the front door. Um, and we can see on the, the diagram here that, yeah, that'll give us coverage uh, out to the front door. And, and we're seeing up to uh, uh, a little over uh, almost 6 foot there, a little over 6 foot. Um, and if we look and we validate what the scene width is and we want to check out the scene resolution again uh, for that camera, just want to make sure here that uh, we're on the right uh, selection here. I can use the reference images to see and, and, and look at uh, what we'll get, the kind of image we'll get at 50 uh, pixels per foot. That's a really good image. Um, and then we know as the person subject walks towards the camera into the room, uh, they'll be getting closer so the pixels per foot, the resolution will actually be uh, increasing. So that all looks good. Now we'll go back to uh, SketchUp and we'll maneuver here and get a better angle and, and zoom in on the uh, the entryway area there. First thing I'm going to do is drop in a, uh, a figure representing a uh, six foot two inch uh, person. Uh, six foot two inches is, is approximately the 95th percentile uh, of, of height. Uh, so if you're covering that, 95% uh, of the people that come through the front door would be uh, definitely be covered. Uh, we're going to be at eight foot high, which is the eight foot high ceiling. And now we drop in the camera. Uh, and we have the uh, field of view uh, uh, image uh, representation there shown. And if we look rotated around, we can see, that, oh, yeah, we've got plenty of uh, coverage there on the person. Uh, not too much because we don't really need to see uh, sky, so to speak. We don't need to see above uh, the person. We want to see the person down to the floor. Um, and, yeah, we're getting that. The grid, by the way, on the front of the camera, that's uh, uh, one foot increments. So we're getting about uh, seven foot. Uh, from the floor up to the uh, ceiling there. The next area we're going to look at is the um, shelving area where the you know uh, items are stored on the shelves. Uh, I'm talking to the customer. We find out that they're about 10 foot high, uh, and they do want to be able to image the tops of the shelves. Uh, with the cameras. So we drop our person in there as a reference point and we're going to go up to about 12 foot to, uh, to mount the camera. This way we can still look down at the down at the top of the shelves and then down through the aisle there. Uh, using our measuring tool uh, we're going to see that we need to cover out here to about oh, a little over 45 foot. Okay and let's go back to the system design tool. Uh, add a scene and this is going to be the name uh, we're going to use the shelving the shelf area um, right now I'm only going to do is quantity one and, and get, uh, come up with the camera there again I'm going to uh, take a look at uh, which camera I, I want to select 
at first I thought maybe use the the same one megapixel camera but then I thought about it a little bit uh, ahead of time and I say no let's go with the uh, the two megapixel version of that HD camera uh, which is this one here uh, still the same 3.3 to 9 millimeter lens but it's a two megapixel version uh, I like to use that one because I'll be able to see out a little bit farther and get higher resolution uh, as I look out and, and I'll, I'll explain the reason for that on the coverages later on uh, again, 45 foot uh, is the you know, distance I need to cover out to, and if I look here, I say, okay, yeah, I can get a six foot person all the way out there at about 61 foot. Um, almost again, there, this this angle is assuming I'm looking straight down, so the angles are a little bit different. But uh, again, if I look at the uh, uh, pixels per foot, that that's well uh, within what I what I need to be able to see there and just validate, yep, I'm using the 2 megapixel uh, camera there. Okay, now let's go back to um, SketchUp, and I'm going to drop in the uh, field of view shape that represents that uh, the camera. Uh, the field of view is a for a 9 millimeter uh, configuration on the lens. If you look here, see I'm looking straight out with the uh, uh, the lens and if I count my, my grid I'm at least uh, 12 foot above the, uh, the floor there because remember I need to look down uh, at the tops of the, uh, the shelves but as I rotate things around I'm looking I'm saying you know I'm not going to get coverage all the way back that's that's a little concern there um, but then intuitively what happens is I look at this and, and this is an HD camera in a 16 by 9 format well there is a little trick I can do because you do have that great feature in the in the system where you can uh, if you rotate the camera you can also rotate the video so why don't I just go ahead and rotate the field of view uh, and uh, put the field of view in a position to where I'll get the uh, uh, optimal use of, of what I have now if I rotate things back I see I'm seeing further into the aisle and I'm covering more of the camera uh, covering more of the um, uh, the space there, and I'll probably cover even more of it once I rotate the uh, uh, image down a little bit and, and and look straight out with the camera. And I am I'm seeing definitely seeing more into the um, into the aisle itself. So I'm using the field of view now by being able to take advantage of being able to rotate the camera and then rotate the image within the system. Uh, optimizing what I can see uh, with the system and this is something I may not have noticed uh, if I was just working in a 2D type model but again looking at all this I do still have a gap there um, in the coverage and if the customer does want full coverage at an aisle well uh, that's actually fairly simple let's just add another uh, camera uh, looking at the other direction by the way, I'm using a 12-foot pole just to represent, uh, make it easier for me to place the uh, the cameras there because uh, uh, I don't have a ceiling to uh, to attach them to right now in this. Uh, so I'm just using the, the pole to uh, represent that. And in reality, the pole will be coming from the ceiling, the opposite direction. So let me rotate it out, um, rotate them around. I'm going to make them a uh, little tip if you want to do something like that we have multiple uh, shapes uh, make them a, uh, a component and now you can use the rotation tools uh, to move things around much easier it's one of those little tips and tricks uh, uh, with SketchUp and doing the fine positioning here and just about got him set and lined up and now I look at it from the side view and hmm gee I've got a hundred percent coverage uh, looking down the aisle uh, from both directions, uh, looking down at the top of the um, uh, shelving area, um, seeing the, the person there, even if they had a ladder or something, I'm, I'm covered. Okay, we took care of the one aisle, but there's actually, when you count it, uh, five aisles worth that we need, and, and there isn't a really great just copy and paste tool within SketchUp that I can use to uh, copy and paste in uh, the same image because it'd be the same configuration all the way across. Just make sure we go back to the uh, uh, design tool and update the uh, quantities uh, to reflect 10 cameras uh, for when we do our uh, uh, design and, 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 and server sizing. Okay, the next area you're going to look at is this large open area here where you have the uh, pallets and you have the conveyor belt and, and product uh, being staged, uh, etc. there. 
maybe one of the better choices to use there would be the uh, 180 degree panoramic camera uh, available so I'm going to drop uh, a shape in representing that at 8 foot again drop it from the ceiling so it's 8 foot above the floor and angle down to look out and around now there is a little bit of a gap uh, underneath directly underneath the camera there but then again that's why I rec was thinking of using the two megapixels for the uh, aisle cameras that'll also cover the area out here uh, in front of the aisles uh, better so I'll be able to see out there and get good coverage out there too All right, I'm going to go back to the system design tool because I got to account for that uh, camera. One of the uh, things is that there isn't a selection for that uh, panoramic camera that I'm aware of there. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to use the uh, nearest thing because it's basically four two megapixels, ca two megapixel uh, ca imagers in that uh, 180 degree camera. So I'm going to use the uh, two megapixel uh, dome, uh, and I'll just uh, find it here. There it is, and I'll just use a quantity of four uh, to represent that uh, uh, one particular camera. Now, looking at the individual lenses, though, uh, again, height, uh, just to get an idea and validate things, eight feet above. Uh, it's about 30 foot out um, to the seal, to the uh, to the walls there, uh, so I get a representation of uh, of what I'm really seeing there, and that all looks pretty good. Look at uh, desired scene with yeah I'm gonna get the uh, good good coverage there with that and um, uh, if I look down I'm gonna see a good screen resolution as well too I think we're good to go 45 yep because it's four of those covers 180 degrees and then finally we um, we're good to go and we'll click OK Now going back to SketchUp, the next area we're going to take a look at is the uh, overhead door area here the, uh, where the trucks uh, unload. There's also a, um, a back door entryway there. Um, and looking at it with the measuring tool, uh, I'm going to need to cover uh, about 25, uh, 26 foot um, on the measuring tool there, uh, width and about 35, 36 foot from that point out. Uh, so it's about 25 by 36 is the uh, the area that I need to cover. Okay, and now back to the system design tool. I'm going to add a scene. It'll be for the uh, uh, loading dock doors. And just quantity one of those cameras. Uh, I'm going to stick with the uh, the two megapixel HD dome. So I want to find that in my selection list here. Um, there he is. Uh, and just quantity one for right now, as I said, and uh, about eight foot uh, above the uh, the floor, looking out at the uh, the doors. And uh, distance to the target, well, it was like 35, but I'm going to make it 45. Uh, because I want to be able to see out uh, potentially out into the trucks right when they're backed up to the door and maybe see out into the trucks uh, to see if uh, uh, you know from a risk factor accidents uh, things get loaded on there uh, you know it'd be just in general might uh, uh, be a benefit to be able to see out there and again looking at everything I'm going to see that the uh, uh, resolution scene resolution is is well within what I need uh, uh, for this application and we add it and click OK. OK, now I'm back to our ske SketchUp. Uh, I hid the uh, uh, images of the uh, lenses over there by the, uh, the shell just to make it a little bit cleaner here as I place it. And I'm going to place it 8 foot uh, above the floor, as I said. Um, drop down from the ceiling, actually. And drop in the lens and, and just validate the, uh, the coverage there. And that actually, that lens... Uh, that field of view shape is uh, I tweaked it a little bit to uh, get a little bit wider angle that would be like an eight millimeter lens um, but I also have another area over here I've got the same virtual same area to cover the back doors the loading dock doors and that side so I do my same little trick there again uh, to uh, 
uh, hide the uh, that image and then just drop in copy and paste in that same uh, uh, lens shape and I can see that that would be a good uh, fit there for covering that uh, location as well too. Uh, don't forget uh, before you continue on to uh, go ahead and update the uh, uh, Vigilon tool to add that extra camera. Now here's the uh, full shape of, of what our design looks like uh, thus far. Now this is SketchUp and I can also embellish and enhance uh, and represent the how I'm representing the space that I'm designing into. So I can add walls, I can add doors, uh, I'm going to zoom in here and there's a door I added and I can zoom into that uh, foyer, that lobby area. Uh, I'm going to come back around here. Let's uh, get a top view and then uh, rotate it around, move it around a little bit and uh, I can begin to see okay here's my uh, my my actual warehouse floor space area I've got the shelves over here 10 foot high I've got the uh, actual overhead doors here I've got the door out to the back uh, the door into the back area there and then once I drop in the uh, uh, fields of view shapes I can validate that that the um, what I'm doing here in terms of coverage is, is is good and is adequate for the job and meets the requirements of what the customer is looking for. So as I rotate this around a little bit, uh, I can see that yeah, uh, you know, with the with the shelves like that, um, I've actually got blind spots at the ends of the shelves there. So I probably need to put a camera uh, across the front there. Uh, looking out into the uh, area a little bit more to cover that area and then another camera across the back area there. So that's something I may have missed if I was looking at this in 2D. Um, here's my back door area there. Uh, I, I put up a pole to represent, you know, we can put a pole outside and when maybe we can put a, uh, uh, a PTZ out here. Uh, drop a PTZ in to uh, uh, you know, be able to rotate that around to get coverage of the uh, uh, outside area, uh, look where the trucks pull in, be able to look at you know the uh, uh, the back door, the the overhead door areas. You know maybe the, you know if there was an alarm and a door gets open, you can have the PTZ target a door. Uh, all sorts of things out there, but we can uh, represent that here as well uh, with SketchUp. But once we actually move outside the building here, and I'm going to show you a uh, a little trick. Uh, in this next section of an integration between SketchUp and Google Earth. Okay, SketchUp has the capability of geopositioning from uh, using um, Google Maps. Uh, so I can put in a location and then actually uh, drop in the uh, image representation of that, that area. This is a mall in, um, uh, in Florida here and I've got the pole there and I can drop in the uh, uh, the shapes just like I would do uh, in a normal uh, SketchUp display. Now the uh, imagery there is kind of low res. I mean that's just the way it is in, in, in SketchUp. Um, but this gets you in the ballpark and you can you can look at uh, uh, you know overall is this is this a good setup? Is this you know validate if this is a good design? Uh, but there's a really neat uh, integration feature here with Google Earth. I uh, click on the button up here for Google, Google Earth to display these images within Google Earth and I'll bring over here now the uh, um, Google Earth image and here's a higher resolution uh, display of that same piece. I've got my pole there. Um, I can validate whether or not uh, uh, you know this is a good design, whether any trees in the way, things like that. So what did we see? We saw the benefits of using the Vigilon system design tool, designing and validating camera coverage in 3D using SketchUp, the customer impact of seeing their design in 3D, and in using the integration feature with Google Maps and Google Earth to geoposition and create outdoor coverage designs. Thank you. Appreciate your attention.